Um, just setting the scene, this, uh, this slide came up uh, out of a recent uh, investor briefing from um, Jeremy Grantham, basically looking at uh, changes in commodity prices for the 33 most important commodities, ranging from pigs to metals to soft commodities to oil, etc. Basically showcases if you even taking into account the World Wars I and II and, um, and the 70s oil shock that there has been a price decline of 70% uh, from the Second World War up to about 2002, after which, uh, between 2002 and 2012, um, that entire price decline has been um, uh, totally changed. Um, and the, the question basically is um, how to pursue economic growth in a world where commodity prices are getting more expensive um, and resource, resources such as water um, will be uh, in higher demand. Um, I guess the, ch the challenge for the, the financial industry is, is how to work with clients to both, on the risk side, uh, evaluate um, and price um, water risk alongside other ESG risk in financial products and services, whether it's in project finance, for example, in the case of India, which is experiencing um, economic growth, population growth, uh, but also severe water stress, how, in this case, um, uh, demand for new and more power, is, as we've seen in India with the major blackout in June, and the, de the, planned, um, the planned capacity of 60 gigawatt, which is enormous, um, can be met in areas that are increasingly water scarce, and how drops in water availability by power stations affect the internal rate of return. Those are the types of, of questions that investors and project financiers have to deal with. Or as John highlighted in his introductory presentation, this is um, um, eight examples from a municipal bond market in the US um, with several hundred million of, of outstanding um, municipal bond debt uh, up till, say, the mid-2020s, uh, 30s, all with good credit ratings from the major rating agencies. But four out of uh, the eight um, bonds are experiencing uh, high water risk scores. And the question basically is how rating agencies are they assuming water availability in the past equates water availability in the future? And do investors that are buying and holding these bonds with good investment grades and hence low uh, yields um, actually get the most value for their money? Uh, I think it's also important, as Marielle pointed out, not only to focus on the, on the risk side, and that's also why I'm happy for Dean to be with us um, at short notice. Um, uh, as he is an expert in the broader water sector, meaning the sector that's actually uh, working um, in terms of pumps, uh, de desalinization um, systems, etc., to see how a major commercial bank is actually perceiving them. Okay, so without further ado, um, shortly uh, introducing the speakers. Uh, Berkeley Edrio is a senior associate at Series Water Program, a leading US-based investor network. Jens Hönehoff is a vice president at DG, um, a leading German investment and development bank. And Dean Dre um, is a senior analyst at City in New York, uh, multi-industry and electrical equipment, and head of industry research, and formerly with FBR, Capital Markets, and 11 years with Goldman Sachs. Um, I'll be joining the panel. Each of the panelists has about five to seven minutes um, to, um, to make a short presentation uh, which means that there is about 15 to 20 minutes of questioning, and I would really encourage you to seize that opportunity rather than to let me speak.